Welcome back to my channel, Smiley Derivation, Smiley DRV, whichever I choose to call it. Today, um, I'm going to be creating a makeup look with this Too Faced White Peach palette that I just picked up. I'm actually not even sure how old this palette is, but I wanted to do something new. Um, when you open it up, it looks like that. It has a lot of orangey, peachy colors, which is why I'm supposing it's called White Peach. So I'm just going to read the colors to you. This one in the far corner is called Peach Cream, followed by Peach Suede, which is that one. Peaches and Dreams, Creme de la Peach, or Creme de la Peach in the corner, uh, Peach Sorbet. Glistening Peach, right here. Peach Smoothie. And then in the corner, Sweet Fig. Then down on the bottom row, we have Peach Ice, which, oh my god, I want to dig into that. This one is Fuzzy. This one is On the Grill. And this one in the corner, this bluish one is Peach Passion. So those are all the colors. Let me swatch some for you guys. All right, so I'm going to do peach eyes. That's glistening. Oh, that's beautiful. Glistening peach. Also gorge. Um, Peaches and dreams. That's really pretty. I like that one. And then we'll do peach passion. Those are all shimmers. So those are how those are looking, those shimmer shades. All right, let me grab a light. Let's try some of these mattes too while we're at it. Wipe all that away. And then let's try. Um, This one is peach sorbet. That's actually pretty large. Peach sorbet. Peach sauce. Peach songs. These are the matte ones. Some of the matte ones. I'm gonna do you a better peach sorbet than that. There you go. And then mm, let's try. Let's go into sweet fig. How about that? So yeah, they're not bad. The glimmers ones really come off. We're gonna. I definitely know I want to play with uh that peach ice. That's really gorgeous. All right, so I am. Let's see, do I want to do my face first? Mm. No, I'm just going to go straight into that palette. Because you don't always need to be wearing a full face of makeup just to do an eye look. So here we go. Let me get 
some blending brushes going. I feel like I haven't sat in my studio forever. <laughs> Which is probably because I haven't. I've been sick and just back aches and going through it to where like sitting down in the chair was not necessarily the best thing for me to do. So I had to, you know, be more mobile because it was actually making it worse on my back for me to be sitting. Um, so that was going on. And then just other light things. Which I can get out of there. Let's see. About in here. Get some blending brushes going. It's been forever since I like sat down to film. And it was time, honey shmoney. Okay. All right, so first off, what I'm thinking is I'm going to take this, which one is deeper? I'm going to take peach suede, and I'm going to just, sorry, buff that in. Because I like the way the peach looks on my skin, I'm not going to use any primer when I go to like cut a crease. Because I have a feeling this is going to turn into, knowing me, a very a cut crease look. So when I go to cut the crease, then I'll, um, the, the shimmer shades and whatever other shades I decide to use once I cut that crease uh, will pop more. But just because I like the way the peach looks on my skin, because it's not even like, I just wanted to try this palette. I have most of the other Too Faced palettes, or at least the old ones. This one's probably kind of old too, but I'm just now getting it, so it's new to me. <coughs> Excuse me. But I know with uh, these palettes, the peachy shades, I usually like how they just fare on my skin without using primer. So that's what I'm doing today. But like I said, when I go to cut the crease, I will, they will pop more. Cause I usually don't even like to do that unless I'm cutting the crease and make those color pop. But just for like creasing, decrease and deepening, it's really not that serious for you to use a primer. Like if you want them to be extra, you know, bolder than this, then yeah, go for it. But me, I'm just keeping it to what I know I like today. And so, um, I still got that blending brush going. And then I'm going to take on this other clean blending brush, the Peach, peach sweat, uh, Sorbet. And I'm going to start about right here. And go in like that. Because my actual goal is not for this to be hella dramatic. I just want to create something really pretty. Um, I saw this. I saw this. I went to my favorite store, if you guys don't know. Um, because I live in a small town. There's no Ulta. There's no Sephora. So basically, um, my favorite store at the moment is Marshalls. I did a whole how about it check that video out but I went um, to Marshall's and they have this palette and I was like ooh like something I don't have and it wasn't even necessarily on the bargain side which makes me leads me to believe that it's more new than some of the other stuff that they have because Marshall's basically like yes it's discount bargain but 
if it's a palette that's like still a little bit popping or coming off being popping, you pay about, you know, 25 to $30 for it. And this was one of those type of things. So I'm leaning more towards like it's probably not the newest, newest thing, but it's close enough to where you were not finna go in Marshalls and get this for like five dollars. So <laughs> that's that. And then for to cut my crease, because I've decided that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my pro filter, my hand dandy pro filter. And I'm going to do my regular shmegula. Um let me get a cut crease brush. Which is actually my cut crease brush and my cleaning up my eyebrows brush is the same brush. Sometimes like one brushes can have multi-purpose and even like when you're buying brush in packs and it says it's for a specific thing, you don't have to use it for that thing. Like you can design your brushes to use for your face the way they fit your face because sometimes certain brushes for what they're used for don't fit my face to use it that way and if I like per se like a highlighting brush some highlighting brushes make my highlight like come out looking crazy and I don't like the way it looks but then I find something that's maybe smaller or maybe more petite that it works for me and it's not necessarily for you know that's not what it's made for but you can use it for whatever you want you can do what you want once you make your brushes. So don't ever let that um, make you have a fear. Like I used to be highly afraid of that when I first started doing makeup. And to tell the truth, like I didn't start wearing makeup till about mm, two, three years ago. Around the time that I decided to start my YouTube channel. And that was just because... I had gotten very into YouTube. I was watching all these other YouTubers and I was like, hey, like, that looks like fun. I wonder if I could do this. Like, just, you know, me learning how to do my own face because I never really wore makeup, you know, period. I might um, put, like, two colors of eyeshadow, like, something probably like this and leave it at that. Put some shimmer on top. Leave it like that. Do a black under eye. Um, I wasn't. I didn't even really do anything to my brows then. There was nothing. I just would get them shaped. You know, when I would go to get my nails done and my pedicures, I would get my eyebrows shaped. And that was the extent of that. I never filled them. I never knew how. Um, um, far as lips, like it was either like a new color, which I didn't even know at the time. That's what that was called, a new color. I was just like, ooh, this is close to my lip color. It makes me feel. Like, it's enhancing my lips, but it's not dramatic. Or, like, I would do, like, a deep purple or a red. I never really experimented with color on my lips. So, basically, me um, having my channel and experimenting and learning, um, because you never want to stop learning something that you're trying to be good at. And even if you're great at it, you never want to, you know, stop learning. So, yeah, like, I have gotten, I've noticed, and it's kind of, it may, amazes me sometimes, that I've gotten, you know, as good as I've gotten with my makeup. Like, stuff that used to intimidate, take, intimidate me doesn't so much intimidate me anymore. Like, I could get a palette like this or, like, have a colorful palette. And it would just intimidate me to the point I would use, like, two colors. Like, I would get a palette, pay all that money for a palette, just to use two colors out of it because I was afraid to do anything further because I didn't want to look stupid and I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't, at that time, like educate myself to know what I was doing so I would just you know stick to two colors and now I'm finding like wow like back in the day when I was spending all that money on just keep up you know with palettes that I didn't even know what I was doing with I could have did so many more things like I could have experimented and you know play with colors and not learn not to be afraid of colors then so I'm really glad that that has changed about me now so all I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna cut this crease so basically what you do is you start where your crease is okay so like my eyes I want to say and I'm still learning about that hooded thing I want to say my eyes are slightly hooded I might be wrong it might be another term but I'm thinking that I you know that they are slightly hooded because like my crease is right here I don't know if you can see that and I have a lot of lines so basically what you want to do 
is you start your uh your cook grease, which is another thing back in the day I would have never tried. Uh, and basically do that, and then you open your eye, and wherever the concealer that you put hits is where you need to start your crease. So for me, that is right here where it landed, because otherwise, if I just keep it lower and I close my eye back, like, you want it to be where if you close your eyes, it's not going to uh, smudge anymore. So for me, that's right here. So basically, yeah. And you try to keep as straight as line as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to keep straight in line as possible. Sorry, let me put my face up so you guys can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing in the mirror. And then I just let it sit on my eye to um, dry. Now, you're supposed to take like a powder and set it with a powder, but I am not going to do that. I prefer to just, uh, it's just my preference. Like you don't have to do it like that. You can stick to the way you're supposed to do it and set it first. I don't like to set it first because I feel like in my experience, it doesn't do anything for me. Like, if I set it and then I put the colors, the colors don't come out to me as pigmented and it is if I just didn't set it. And um, I'm not really sure why the reason it is that people tell you to set it. But just for me, I feel like it doesn't do anything, so I don't do it. So I basically just pick the colors that I want and I go right on top of that concealer because I want maximum poppage because I'm extra. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a clean blending brush and I'm basically just about to go in with um, let's see with Glistening Peach, which is that shimmer shade. I'm going to bring her right smack dab in the middle. Not cover my entire eye because I think for my lid, I'm just going to keep it to two colors. Because the truth is, I'm not going anywhere. And I'm just felt you know I just felt like playing with makeup today and I feel like if I'm gonna do an outrageous look or something you know out there I always need to be going somewhere and I'm not so I'm still gonna play but I'm not gonna do it as dramatic as I know I could because at this point I could like bust out other palettes and now I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to take that from that halfway point all the way down. And then with another brush, I'm going to go into that orange uh, creme de la peach. Because that's really pretty. And I want to see what it's going to look like on my eye. And I'm going to take that in the corner. Oh, and don't you worry and don't you fret. Because I'm about to pack this on. I want this to be as bright orange as I could get. And it has some fallout, but I've never cared about fallout. Really, as long as um, the colors pop and... They make it easier, and I'm overlapping it over the pink just a little just to mesh it because I'm going to blend it out 
um, later. But yeah, I'm gonna pack it on as much as possible. See to as much uh, how much pigment it's gonna let me have. And that was actually pretty good. And then, since I have no makeup on yet, I just take that and wipe it off. Okay. That's really pretty. And I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and put that all in. I'm not going to add any more product whatsoever. I'm going to take this and wipe away that fallout. And then, because I want to use this um, peach ice shade badly, I think what I'm going to do with that is just pop her in my inner corner. So for that, spray. It sticks better with spray. Just take her on my like, pencil looking brush and get her in there. Get her in there to play. I know sometimes for me I have to watch things like this because if you overdo it, or if I overdo it, let me stick to I statements. It could come out looking not cute, just like I have crust in my eyes, and that ain't cute. So, mm. see, that works for me. Just enough, not overdone. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my... Um, my liner and put on a lash and I will be right back okay so I just pop the eyelash on and since I never do my brows on camera I'm gonna do one on camera today and then I will cut off the camera and do the other one and do it that way so I'm not depriving you guys of how I do my eyebrows. I just, I don't know. I don't really like doing my eyebrows on camera all that much. Um, so basically I just take them, brush them up, you know I'm not going to do both, I'm going to brush up both. And I a liner girl. I take this um, Wet n Wild Brown. I'm not even sure if this is a lip pencil or an eyebrow pencil. I just know right now it's the only brown that I have. And I basically just trace it out. I actually need to sharpen this because it's not sharp. I'm hand in sharpener. Sharpener. <laughs> Alright, so I sharpened her up. Basically, I just follow because there's not a lot of filling in that I need to do. This is just basically for shape and to make it look darker. I basically just take it and I follow my line down like so. And then same thing here. Just follow my natural line. I'm going to start making hair-like strokes. And I like to use um, the, this pencil because my eyebrows are actually darker than this. But I like that this gives me room for more mistakes. I don't know if that makes sense because it's so much lighter. Because actually, like me, I cheat. <laughs> I fix everything up with brow gel and 
my pro concealer so it's basically the same thing on top I just take it and I follow the shape of my eyebrow my natural eyebrow because it's not like I said it's not so much filling and I'm just shaping it and bow like that and I do some strokes I don't get it too close to the here like I don't do it so dark because I don't like it to look so harsh basically and I just take my spoolie and I brush in the product that I did put brush up and then I do have brow gel I have Ardell brow gel and I use the dark brown because this is like a dark brown pencil but the gel actually is darker than the pencil and I like this because my hair is like naturally red grandma was half Irish God bless her soul and so my hair is my real hair is naturally red and red but my eyebrows are like darker than my hair if that makes sense so um, between the pencil and this it just gives me a color that I can deal with basically because my hair is like deeply red <laughs> as I'm sure if you guys have watched any of my hair videos I think there's only like two of them while I'm saying any of them like I've just been mad on YouTube for a long time and if you guys have watched those videos you see that my hair is really red that's that Irishman grandma's people coming through shining bright like a diamond and then I just take some clear gel and this is just a color based thing that I've had and I actually need to get a new one because it's been quite old but I just use it for the clear gel and I take the clear gel and comb it on out and get those hairs looking like that's where they're supposed to be honey and brush them up and after that, all I do, all I do, like my brows, is probably like the simplest part of my makeup, which is probably why I never put it on camera because I just feel like it eats up more time. I don't want to make you guys like sit through super long videos. And so usually I just bleep it out, but that's all I do. And then I just take some pearl conceal. And most of the time, sometimes like I don't even use Pro Conceal. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I go straight into my conceal or not my concealer. My uh, I have Fenty Beauty. I'm Fenty Beauty in the shade 420. And sometimes like what I should do now, but I'm just gonna do it this way because I've already uh, squeezed and opened this and all that. I usually just take my uh. Fancy Beauty thing and I pop it open and because this is the exact same color as my skin this is a little lighter than my skin but this is the exact same color I usually just dip into this to do my brows but today like I said since I open it um, I'm just gonna use this uh -oh. I don't think I've ever and then I just clean it up basically and get them as sharp as I can. Which maybe me doing my eyebrows and stuff first was not such a good idea because this is hard. But that's about as crisp we're gonna get it, and then I take it on the top and do the same right thing, just clean it up.
And then I'll take my little, this little brush right here. I don't even know what to call it. Like, I'm pretty sure this is not what this is for. But I just take this and blend it. And, and like I said, I usually do this with my concealer because, to me, it blends better. But this is not doing that bad of a job. So from this video, I can tell you, I will never do this again. I will do my eyebrows before I put on any eye makeup. Just because it's simpler for me. Mm -hmm. And there we have a brow. Not a lot of fuss, not a lot of drama. And then I just take that blending brush that has some of that peach weight on it and go right back in here where I got some of it off. Let's blend it. There's actually no more product on this brush. I'm just blending it out. And that's that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate everything I did on this side on this side. And then I'll be back with a finished look. Okay. So I just have eyebrows done and eye makeup and lashes on. Lippy. No um, foundation. So my skin is... But yeah, I just wanted to come on camera. Show it off a little. 